Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. Look what I got my hands on. Finally, Stronger With You Tobacco. Yes! From Emporio Armani, of course. This is an exclusive addition to the Middle East, which is why it's so difficult to find in the US. You basically are gonna have to wait for this to pop up at discounters and then scoop it up when it shows up in stock. I got mine from fragrancebuy.ca and it took me a while. The first time they got it in stock, sold out. I did not get a bottle. Second time they got it in stock, sold out. I did not get a bottle. But then managed to get one, uh, the th I think it was the third time that they restocked this fragrance here. So yeah, we're, we're kind of in the same boat with this one. If you want it, you're gonna have to scoop it up as soon as it comes into stock. I'll have it linked in the description to fragranceby.ca, uh, but depending on when you're watching this, it very well may not be in stock, so keep that in mind. The same thing happened with Stronger With You Leather, Stronger With You Oud, Stronger With You Amber, and those have been a little easier to find as time has gone on, so I'm assuming the same thing will be a true for this one, at least that's what I'm hoping. It'll never be cheap, I would imagine, because Stronger With You fragrances are typically not discounted a huge, huge, huge amount, but at least it will be available, which is better than it being impossible to find. So yeah, this one again will be linked in the description below. And uh, I'll also link it to fragflex.com. And if you shop there, use the code GS11 for 11% off your order. That's good for everything sidewise. Let's go ahead and kick things off here by taking a look at the presentation up close and personal, and then I'll start breaking down the fragrance and how it smells to me. So here is the front of the box. You have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration. It's an Eau de Parfum, 100 ml size. And up top, you can see that it is exclusive. You have the Armani logo up top. On the back, you have your ingredients and some precautionary messages. You know, the typical stuff. Don't spray it in your eyes. Don't spray it into a flame, things like that. On the bottom, you have your badge code, 38X801H. And here we have the bottle. You have on there the name of the fragrance, the name of the house. It has a really nice deep red coloration that I like. On the bottom, a sticker with your badge code and the cap clicks into place. And as usual, with Stronger With You fragrances, you have to line the cap up correctly. You can't just shove it on there. You have to put it in the correct spot and then it will click down. Then you also have the logo up on top of the atomizer as well. Let's go ahead and spray out a couple sprays. All right, here we go. Nice, good atomizer here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just spray that on right there too. Now this is a first impressions video. I actually just got this in a few days ago. So I've been wearing it over the past few days. Uh, like I said, it took me a while to actually get this one because it was just selling out so fast. So let's start talking about how it smells, if it is redundant and if it is worth owning. So the first thing that caught my attention with this one in terms of how it smells is when you first spray this one on, to me, it doesn't smell like what I thought a Stronger With You tobacco fragrance would smell like. To me, in the opening, this is more like Stronger With You incense. So it's a little green around the edges, actually, and uh, not like a sweet green. So we're not talking about like, uh, you know, a very lively, minty, poppy kind of green. No, just like a almost herbaceousness along the edges and then an incense type of scent profile. So it's like stronger with you. And then this smokiness that wafts through very much an incense smoke. And that's how it opens. To me at times, it actually reminds me of like walking into a store where they have a number of different incense packets for sale. Maybe they've got multiple different ones burning. And so you get this conglomeration of uh, different incense scent profiles that makes just like one big, I don't know, mixto, <laughs> like a mix of incense. And that's how this comes across in the opening. So that's gonna be for me the first four or five minutes. And uh, again, the first time that I wore this, I was like, oh man, this is not it. <laughs> this is not what I thought this was gonna be. What is this? What is this? Oh, 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 oh and I was a bit disappointed. Uh, but then as it dries down, it gets way better. That incense kind of vibe, which other people may pick that up in different ways. You know, they may not pick it up how I do with that sort of incense smokiness, but that's how it comes across to me. Uh, but anyway, four or five minutes in, that starts to fade back. It starts to step back. And then you get a really pleasant, stronger with you, with tobacco. I know, what? How is that possible? I didn't expect that at all. But yes, you get this really, really pleasant chestnut, that, that stronger with you DNA. It immediately pops out. Uh, the tobacco is nice, warm, spicy, a little bit sweet. You get a really pleasant, 
pungent uh, vanilla woody mixture as the fragrance dries down. Uh, cardamom, some cinnamon, I think it's officially cinnamon leaf is in here as well in the top and the mid. So that's gonna be some of the more prominent spices that you pick up. A little pepper in there gives it a bit of a pop. It's really, really appealing, smells very nice. So it's one of those deals where essentially, uh, do you like stronger with you? <laughs> it boils down to that once again. The answer is yes, you're gonna love this stuff. If the answer is no, this is probably not quite different enough to uh, change your mind. I think that possibly out of all the big men's fragrance lines right now, Stronger With You might be the one where they stick to the plan. At least by and large, by and large. They have a set in stone Stronger With You DNA, and with each release, they're like, okay, let's change it a little bit, but let's not change it too much. And that's what's going on here. So for some people, that becomes very boring uh, because there's a lot of redundancy. There are a lot of different Stronger With You fragrances where you could point to one of them and be like, look, if you own this one, you don't really need this one, this one, this one, this one, because they're all, you know, like 80% the same. So can you find similarities between this one and Stronger With You? Absolutely. Yeah, you can. Can you find similarities between this one, Stronger With You? Ooh, yeah, you can. This one and Stronger With You Intensely. Yes, you can. So it, it does that. I will say, if you like tobacco fragrances, this could be uh, the best of these new Stronger With You's. I think Stronger With You Leather is top notch. Stronger With You Oud is really good. And this is right up there with them. Stronger With You Amber, I don't actually hate as much as a lot of people hate, but I do think this is better than Stronger With You Amber. This gives me kind of in that transitional period from the opening into the mid and from the mid into like the beginning part of the dry down, almost like Stronger With You mixed with little bits of uh, PDM Herod. So kind of like that. And that is super appealing. Like this stuff smells fantastic in the air. Uh, unfortunately, when I got my hands on it, we're, we're right into spring. So, I mean, you know, it's gonna be too hot for this stuff. It's too hot for now, frankly, but it's gonna be really too hot for this stuff uh, before too long, you know, probably a couple weeks uh, from when I'm shooting this video, it's gonna be just, no. So that's the unfortunate part. Uh, but thankfully, this did not let me down. Again, at this point, I really like Stronger With You especially Stronger With You, absolutely. Uh, Stronger With You, Leather and Oud, I think those are really great. And like I said, this goes right up there with Leather and Oud for me. And again, for me, the only real potential drawbacks for this one are if you are tired of Stronger With You, keeping very close to the same idea, just with like you know, little tweaks. Hey, what if we did tobacco in this one, but it was still Stronger With You, just with a little tobacco in there now. Well, what if we did Stronger With You, but this time with a little Oud in there? What if we did it this time, but with a little leather in there, you know, that kind of thing that they've been doing and Stronger With You, absolutely. What if we did Stronger With You with a little booze in there? For some people, and I completely understand this, that's gonna get just like, okay, like we get it, something else please. But for people who like that DNA and enjoy having different like iterations of that DNA, it works perfectly, which I can understand that too. It would be like having a pair of shoes that you love, right? Uh, but you only have it in one color. Like, well, you know, I, I wanna wear it with other things too. So then you get this color, that color, this color, that color, and now you can wear your favorite shoes in a bunch of different situations, a bunch of different uh, outfits, right? It's kind of like that with Stronger With You. If you really love that style, well, heck, man, now you've got this one, 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 and you can mix and match however you think works best. For me, it's a love. I think the stuff smells awesome. Like a typical Stronger With You, the performance is there, lasts a long time, projects heavily for me. Unfortunately, like I said, it's heating up and this is gonna be too much for spring and summer. It's, uh, you know, it's a typical Stronger With You. That's not what I wanna wear when it's really hot out. And for me, I would say um, the opening still is, is probably my least favorite part, just that first three, four minutes. Uh, but for some people, they may actually find that to be their favorite part because it's probably the most removed from how a typical Stronger With You opens. At at least uh, again to my taste uh, because of that sort of incense-y vibe that it has. Because again, the first time I sprayed this stuff, I was like, that's not tobacco. As far as a typical tobacco note, that's smoke, that's incense smoke, right? So like, how was, 
that's not uh, the tobacco I was expecting. But the tobacco I was expecting came out right after that. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's there. It's what I thought it would be, and I love the stuff. So that's Stronger With You tobacco. Uh, I would say, again, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to find this for a while. Don't get scalped on this stuff, because there are gonna be people who buy this and then try to flip it on eBay or other places for probably like 200, 250, if I had to guess, something like that. I would not pay that much. I don't think it's worth that much. I think the price that you're gonna find it for at discounters, that's probably the most I would pay for it, honestly, because it's not gonna be cheap at discounters. It's not, it's still gonna be kind of pricey because it's, you know, a Middle Eastern exclusive. There's not a whole heck of a lot of them making their way over to here. And so when it does pop up, like I said, it sells out quick. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, even though it is good and even if you're a collector of the line and you want to have them all I know it's gonna be like annoying for some people but try to try to you know not not overpay because that can take out a lot of happiness uh, from the fragrance. It's like with cheapies, you know, you buy a cheapie for 30 bucks, you're like, okay, man, yeah, that's, a good, that's a good buy, that's a good deal. You buy it for 90, 120, suddenly you don't feel so good about the purchase. Kind of the same thing with this. So, uh, you know, don't pay double to uh, somebody on eBay who's, who's trying to scalp you. Save your money. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys for hanging with me. If you have managed to get your hands on this one, first off, congratulations. Uh, second off, let me know how it works for you and what you think about the opening. Uh, if you really like that opening if it doesn't work for you uh, let me know thank you guys stay safe out there i'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video see you later